it's Ann. I'm back. How's it going? This is going to be a tag video, but I'm going to do two tags at one time. I've been tagged several different ways by several different people to do the 20 question and the five randoms. So I figured I'd just put them all together since both of them are just kind of explaining myself a little. I'm going to start with the five randoms. Alrighty, let's see. First thing, this is my third marriage. Mr. Jim's first, but my third. Our son is adopted. I have been able to get pregnant repeatedly, but do not manage to carry beyond two to three months. So, we went out and found a kid. Actually, he was an adult when we found him and tucked him into the family anyway. Most of his family was completely gone. His dad has been out of, you know, the bio unit father has been out of the picture since he was about three. And his mom, who was a Marine, passed away in uniform when he was about 13. And most of the rest of the family just didn't do it for him. Anyway, let's see. What else? Five things. Five. I need three more. Um, most of my animals have always been rescues. Finnegan, my little dog I currently have, is the only purebred that we've ever had. Or at least I've ever had. Jim had a collie when he was a kid that had paper. Um, Benny sort of has papers. We have the identification on his parents, but since we were doing him as a pet, because he was actually a runt and does not fit confirmation, we didn't go for all the fancy stuff, plus it's expensive to go for the fancy stuff to be able to breed him. It's, yeah, no, he's just our little dog. And yes, he was fixed immediately. Um, some of you may or may not know that I am a gamer. I have been gaming since Dungeons and Dragons was still on mimeograph sheets off of college campuses. That's a long time. Long time. And... I only currently play one electronic massively multiplayer online role-playing game. That's World of Warcraft. I'm a troll. I got into that game because it was one of the first ones that I had ever encountered that because of all of the community stuff, and being able to chat back and forth with people, and being able to actually talk back and forth with people because of the voice integration and some of the other voice servers, it was more like the one, you know, the, the tabletop role-playing game where you're talking to people as your character. Yes, I'm a little weird that way. Let's see, what else? Of my immediate family, you know, mom, dad, siblings, I am the only one still above ground. My dad passed away with complications from diabetes. My mom passed away because of complications with a septic wound. She was in a nursing home. And I'm not sure exactly what went down because nobody contacted me immediately. Anyway, that was under my aunt's care. Um, my little sister lost her battle with depression. Let's see. 
I have a couple of different um, autoimmune issues, the most annoying of which is fibromyalgia. So I am in pain pretty much of the time. One of the reasons that I'm sometimes kind of halting in my speech goes along with the fibro brain. You get foggy when you hurt. Sometimes my speech, I, I can lose track of something I am saying in the middle of a sentence. And it might eventually come back later, which leaves me with a lot of non sequiturs. Yes, I like to use $25 words. Anyway, I think that was five. So the 20 questions. Yes, I actually wrote them out. I didn't just print them out. I don't have them on my phone. Because with, with my phone, I have to take my glasses off and do this, which is not attractive. OK, the thing I can't leave the house with yeah, but I can't leave the house without. A lot of people would think it was my keys. But it's my cell phone. Not because I like my cell phone. Not because I want to be on my cell phone. In particular, if I leave the house without my cell phone, my son has a cow. He starts jumping up and down about, I can't get a hold of you. But if you get into, a, get into an accident, he's more of a worried wart than I've ever been. Number two, what's my favorite brand of makeup? Elf. It used to kind of be a toss-up between Elf and Wet n Wild. But I have a few issues with Wet n Wild currently. We'll see if they get their feces back together. Favorite flower is a blue aster. It's my birth flower. Also known as a bachelor's button. Favorite clothing store. It's the thrift store across town. Occasionally I wander into the Maurice's in town. Occasionally. But it's the thrift store across town. See, the, the Maurice's went that way. The thrift store went that way. Favorite perfume. I actually have several favorites. Problem being, in this household, we have so many people who have sensitivities to smell that I rarely wear any, and I got rid of the majority of my um, collection. Now, for a long time, my absolute favorite was Estee Lauder Pleasures. Currently, I've got a little sample of the Toka Stella that I use if I'm not going to be in the house all day and not going to be hauling the grandkids around. Heels or flats? When I was younger, I liked heels a lot. However, between the fibromyalgia the circulatory neuropathy and the issue of possibly having foot trouble because of diabetes, I stick to flats and very comfortable flats and white cotton socks mostly. Seven, did you make good grades in which version of school? <laughs> in high school, 
we had 504 students in my graduating class. I graduated 252 in the class. In my college courses that I'm currently in, if not for one really bad math grade, I passed, but it was a scrape, math grade, I was kind of heading for, for, for Dean's List. It, high school, I didn't really care. I spent most of my high school with my mom telling me not to worry about taking any of the advanced placement or prep for college courses because I wouldn't be going. So, yeah, I did it later. And now I make good grades because I actually like what I'm doing. My favorite colors. Pink. Just about any shade of pink you can think of. And there's this kind of medium shade of blue, very similar to this. But if you look it up on the color charts, that have the, the names of some of the stuff, like a Pantone chart. It's called Reflex Blue because it makes my eyes stand out and I happen to like my blue eyes. Okay, number nine. Do you drink energy drinks? Oh, hell no. <laughs> I do not touch energy drinks. One of the problems with energy drinks is it's such a fast, hard hit of caffeine and a high level of caffeine that I get palpitations. And I don't need palpitations. I wear a nitro patch to help keep my heart from doing that because I had a heart attack. It was great. I had a heart attack. The doctors kept saying, Oh, you're just that. That's why you're so tired. That's why your chest hurts. Had a heart attack. They found it when they did a nuclear scan. And they're going, well, damn, you had a heart attack at some point. No, we can't pinpoint when, but the damage is there. I'm going, mm -hmm. and all I kept getting told was I was fat. And it's like, yeah, bite me, dorks. You know, it's like a lot of other people. You know, the, as a female, you go in to talk to the doctor and they pat you on the head and just pass it off as hysterical female. Pisses me off. Let's see. Number 10. Do you drink juice? I love juice. I really love juice. If we have it, I will drink it. However, I have to be careful about how much juice I drink, especially at any one time, because diabetes. Juice will jump your sugar up in a skinny minute, which is why if you're having a sugar crash and your sugars are too low, they tell you to, here, have some orange juice. It'll fix it shortly. Number 11, do you like swimming? If I had a pool, you would have to dredge me out of it on a regular basis. I, I absolutely love swimming. I don't do it well, but I love swimming. Number 12, do you eat fries with a fork? It depends. Occasionally, my husband will make a dish that is similar to what is called poutine, which is gravy and cheese curds and french fries. Only we don't normally have access to the cheese curds in our little town, so we just put cheese with it. And with all the gravy and stuff, Yes, I know. I'm diabetic. This is not what you would consider diabetic-friendly food. Too bad. I make up for it in other ways. But with that, yeah, a fork is pretty necessary. Number 13, what's your favorite moisturizer? <laughs> whatever came in the Ipsy box or whatever I have found in, like, Dollar Tree. I'm not kidding. I found this one in Dollar Tree. Coconut 
and rose milk facial serum. Dollar Tree. It's a little bit of mineral oil, a little bit of coconut oil, and a little bit of rosehip oil. Works like a charm. It's a dollar. I can do that. My face loves it. Number 14. Do you want to get married? A little late for the do you want to. It's been done. And I even want to stay that way. I didn't with the first two. Number 15. Do you get mad easily? Yeah. Well, if I am on my bipolar medication, yes, I have problems. If I am on my bipolar medication, my mood is pretty stable. I've got a pretty good fuse. If I am not on my bipolar medication, or if I am on a serious up or down swing, the fuse gets a little weird. Number 16, are you into ghost hunting? I've gone ghost hunting a couple of times with some friends who wanted to go. I've never seen a need to go ghost hunting when they usually come to me. <laughs> yes, I talk to ghosts on a regular basis. If that doesn't scare you, I don't know what does. Number 17, do you have phobias? Heights. I have trouble climbing ladders. And I get this weird sensation if I'm up high and can look out over things. I keep wondering what it would be like to take one more step. Would I fly? Would I have time to even think before I hit the ground? But it's almost like Somebody is behind me whispering, going, take the step. At which point the vertigo sets in. I told you, I have some issues. Most of the voices in my head become characters in the stories I write. So, yeah, I take it out that way. Number 18, do you bite your nails? I try using taking care of them and painting them to keep me from biting them. Sometimes it works. Number 19. Have you ever had a near-death experience? I have to think about that one, and I did do some thinking about that one when I was writing these down. I have been very sick, and occasionally when I am very sick, I have seen people that I know have crossed over. And they're like standing there waiting. But I was still conscious, aware, and with other people at the time. So, I can't say that I've had a near-death experience, but I've had a few people show up to check that were already on the other side. 20. Do you drink coffee? Let me introduce you to this sign here that says life happens, coffee helps. I live for coffee. Coffee is good. Coffee is yummy. I don't drink it continuously all day, but I used to. And then I got told I had a heart attack. Um, usually I get two to three cups a day. And that was the last question. I'm not entirely sure who came up with either one of these tags. If somebody knows the originators, please let me know so I can put them in the description. However, the 20 questions I got hit with by Nikki Raven because she said if you're one of my friends or if you have a channel dot 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 and the five randoms came from 4F Beauty 
Angie. And she said that if you're one of her friends, if you have a channel, if you are one of her collaboration partners, dot, dot, dot. So I figured I would take this one film and cover it all. Yes, some of my answers are kind of strange, but then again, so am I. Anyway, if you think of something else you actually want to know, just leave me a message. Whatever. I hope you found it interesting. Now I'm going to hit up all of you. If you have a channel, if you're a friend, if you have ever collabed with me, pick one of the tags or do both. Five random and the 20 questions. The 20 questions will be in the description box. And then let me know so I can go see. I hope so far your New Year's has been doing well. I know it's only a couple of days in, but it would be nice if it started off well. Be good. Mm -hmm.